Hello and welcome to this Construct 3 tutorial while I will show you how to create uh, a situation where you can transport a player between layouts using a portal system. So here you can see the end result. We have the player uh, and we can move the player using the a direction uh, behavior um, and we can go to the edge of the screen and once we do that we end up in another layout. This is one is called park. You can see it through the label and once we move there okay we have another layout it's called forests and so we can go back to the backyard where we started and this game or this has also a functionality if we move to this location there we can be transported inside the same layout so how does it work well actually this game has uh, three different layouts one for backyard, one for park, and one for forest. Um, and they all, are, they all are pretty similar. You can see here the backyard, for example, has on its background has a uh, tile map, background tile map, using this uh, uh, these uh, sprites here. There's a tile map created here. Um, there's the player, and the player has the scroll to behavior enabled. Uh, so the, the camera is moving along with the player and of course it's also got uh, an eight direction um, behavior so we can uh, use the, uh, the arrow keys to uh, move it along. So also what you can see here is the black borders here. These The only purpose of the black borders is actually to stop the player from moving outside of the layout. Um, so once we hit that it has a solid behavior the player stops moving of course that's cool if we double click um, the player you can see that has uh, eight animations here four for the idle uh, state facing down up right and left you can see it it's set to loop so we're uh, looping the animation actually um, and then for for animating a walk uh, sequence here we see that that's cool um, the most important part about the portal logic here is the blue uh, sprites and the green sprites now if we look at the blue sprites the blue sprites are called doors you can see that here uh, nothing special here about doors uh, except they have two extra instance variables there's the exit ID and the exit layout and each door holds um, some values for those variables. Now the exit IDs are reference to exit sprites being the green ones here. So every uh, green sprite is called an exit and it has got a unique ID. For example backyard 1, this is backyard 1, this is backyard 2, backyard 3. So once we move outside of the layout we will be transported to another layout or within the same layout for that matter and we will be transported to an exit with this specific ID. When we double click we can see also that there is an extra image point called exit and it's bang in the middle here. So that's the point in the exit ID where we will be transported. So how does the work from an event sheet point of view? Well, actually, this is the event sheet, and it's got two main sections, the animations section and the doors section. The animations section uh, takes care of the uh, selecting the correct animation when the player is walking. You have to see two different scenarios, one where the player is moving, which is represented here by the eight direction behavior telling us the player is moving, and we can set the animation here to uh, walk underscore and the direction of the player. And the direction of the player here, let me click the player here in the, uh, in the project uh, bar. You can see that the player also holds an instance variable called direction. And this is the instance variable we'll use to set the correct uh, animation in, uh, in the player. So how... If the player is not moving, so the else branch here, we will set it to idle and also the direction the player is moving in. How do we get that direction to be the correct value? Very simple. When the keyboard uh, arrow key to the left is down, then we set it to left. When it's down, we set it to 
uh, when it's up we set it to up when it's right we set it to right when it's down we set it to down so that's how it works so the most important part here is the door system well actually how it works is whenever a player collides with a door we have to move it to an other layout or within the same layout for that matter but uh, when we need to move to an other layout using the go to layout system action we can't pass a parameter to it so the way to pass a parameter between layouts the most efficient way of course is using a global string here uh, it's called target exit so once we collide with the door we set the target exit um, target exit a global string to the exit ID of the door which is one of these instance variables um, and then the exit is on the same layout we will just transport the player there if it's not on the same layout we will go to the layout specified in the exit layout instance variable so um, how uh, do we do that well we use a function and this function here is called player move to exit um, and then uh, we select the exit with the correct ID being the target exit which is this global string here so by doing that we will have uh, selected the correct exit in the context of the, the function here and we just set the position of the player to the image point which is in the exit sprite why do we use a function because actually we're uh, doing this twice once for when we stay inside the same layout we just do that and we uh, pick the correct target exit which is in the same layout so no problem there um, if it's not in the same layout we need to go to that uh, exit layout specified by the door um, and then we can uh, call the function we've created on start of layout and that's how it works so let me just run that again and explain step by step we go to the right we hit the door which is hidden here past the just past the edge of the of the of the window and then we go uh, to the correct layout and to the correct um, to the correct uh, exit ID so that's how it works um, as always please like and subscribe um, I will leave a link to uh, this um, project file in the description of the video. I hope you like it and see you soon.